Abadigani familia Angu. Uh, my name is Eli Ben Eli. Hola, uh, cualquiera que hable español ahí afuera. Mi nombre es uh, Babu Eli Ben Eli. And uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. I, I'm feeling kind of bad and I'm feeling kind of outraged. You know, uh, I I am uh how would you call it? I am a struggling vegan. Why am I a vegan? I'm a vegan because you know uh, I think that all sentient beings are created by God. Now let me get to the point. You know, uh, I don't want, I'm not going to say anything bad about Mia Bohansi, but I will say this. I heard the news that one of Marwa's uh, equis died. It's inaccurate to refer to all of them as horses. Two are mules and one is a horse. And uh, I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, very distressed about that. You know, there, there, there are a couple of things in this life that I don't like, and I'm gonna talk about both of them today. I don't like people. I don't like men who abuse women. For that matter, I don't like people who uh, women who abuse men. You know, and I sure as heck don't like anyone who abuses an animal or who neglects an animal, which is a form of abuse, you know. Uh, once again, the word is out that uh, good old Marwa, you know, caused the, caused the death of one of the three equuses. I don't know whether it's one of the, the mules. I don't know whether it was the horse, one of those three creatures, one of those three beautiful creatures that I have come to love over the last couple of, uh, you know, in the period of time that they have been on there, is dead. And it sounds to me like if the animal is dead because of, uh, you know, I don't, I, I want to, I want to, this is Ramadan, this is, oh, Ramadan Mubarak to all of those who celebrate uh, Ramadan. I don't want to insult anybody, but what kind of idiot is Marwa? What kind of stupid, ignorant idiot is this man? And I mean, you know, he takes three relatively healthy animals and through his stupidity and arrogance causes the death of one of those animals. People kept advising him, have a veterinarian come out there. You know why he didn't have a veterinarian come out there? Because he's cheap and he's broke. And Rocio Cabrera, you know, uh, up until now, I, I, you know, I wanted to think well of Rocio Cabrera, and I do give her credit for one thing. You know, I do give her credit for one thing. She has been kindly to the animals. She has handled the horse, uh, the, the two mules and the horse well. But, you know, uh, the reason that I, you know, uh, previously didn't dislike Rocio was because of her treatment of the horses. But now come to find out that she has bigoted attitudes toward black American men, which includes somebody like me. Okay, uh, and, and that's the funny part about it. How can you make such a sweeping generalization that you don't like black uh, Americans? Uh, I'm a black American and uh, I also happen to be a Latino. I also happen to be uh, uh, Judeo-Islamic. I'm a lot of things and, you know, I feel bad because a lot of my life has been uh, battling with people like Rocio who you know, uh, 
have racist feelings without knowing anything uh, toward me, without knowing anything about me. You know, and uh, I think that, you know, uh, a, a seed can only grow in fertile soil. And uh, I think that Rocio, you know, has been encouraged or, uh, or one way or the other by Mara to express these kind of hateful views because Mara himself doesn't necessarily you know like black people half of humanity are women and he doesn't like black women and he has all of these ridiculous reasons strong passports blah 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 how strong a passport do, does the Rocio Cabrera have total bullshit pardon my language you know it's like the one thing that I hate bitterly with all of my heart are people who abuse women, children, and animals. And and women who abuse men or men who abuse men, I don't like them either. You know, what did those horses ever do to Mara? He bought them as a way of enticing that girl into not getting bored and leaving. But Marwa knows everything. Marwa doesn't consult anybody. Marwa knows any, everything. You know, it's like, there are places that horses go swimming in the beach, in the water and everything. Uh, there are places that horses enter rivers, but these are animals that have been trained to do that. What the hell possessed this idiot to take those, those animals into that river and as Black Beauty has said, you know, uh, people bathe, drink, and wash their dishes out of that river. Why would you take horses in there in the first place? Do you not have enough water on your land, or can water not be fed for them to drink? And why would you force them to go into the water if they didn't want to go there? You know, I uh, I love animals. I love you know what really, really, really got me started as as a as a vegan? First of all, I have a lot of uh, doctrinal differences with Seven Day Adventists, but I love them with all of this heart. Why? Because they taught me a great deal. You know, and one of the things that I learned from Seven Day Adventists was vegetarianism. Okay, and uh, I have a lot of love for vegetarianism, but what drove me to become a vegan was that one time I killed one mouse. And uh, this was at a time when I was fighting. I had some mice in my home and I was fighting to get rid of them. I killed one mouse, which uh, a board fell. Don't worry about it. You know, I killed one mouse and felt very bad about it. And the next night, a second mouse came out and went to the very spot where I had killed the first one and just stood there. And I don't like, you know, I, one of, you know the reason that I never can and will become, have never become a gangster. I don't like, I don't like killing anything. Not even a humble little mouse. I, I made noises and tried to get it to move away and that poor little creature you know just stood right there smelling the ground. He was looking for his partner and I ended up killing it. I, I didn't have any way of removing it alive and that haunted me and it haunts me till this day. That's why I became a vegan. Okay, I, I, there was a time when I had a cat, a dog, several birds, a couple of different tanks full of goldfishes. I love animals. And I had a lot of houseplants. I love, you know, I love nature. So, you know, if you think that I love animals, as humble as a little mouse, you know, let me tell you something about me and horses. I can spend hours watching uh, uh, 
videos of the Royal Mounted Guards in England and their horses and I, I just love horses. So for me to hear that a beautiful, strong, healthy creature died because of the ineptitude of an incompetent fool and an idiot, it makes me angry. It makes me angry. I, you know, all of the microaggression, racist views that I would express, I would express on this channel, you know, Mara uh, dissing black women in effect by some of the things that he says. And now, you know, his touring cantadora, Rocio Cabrera, the, I, I, you know, I was getting to the point to where I, I halfway like Rocio, not because of any personality things, not because I find her attractive. I find that skinny, hawk-like face with that beaky nose and that those teeth and that mouth that was created to 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 suck things up suck on things I don't like her personally but I I was developing a liking for her because of the because of the way she behaved with the horses but then she said her little thing about how she views black American men and I don't like her I don't like her at all you know, it's like I, I'm urging people to do something. I no longer watch Mara. You know, I no longer watch Rocio. I used to watch her because I, I love horses and I wanted to look at the horses. Uh, now I can't do that because I'm on, I'm afraid that those horses are being not being treated correctly. That idiot might take them to the river or somewhere else and cause the other two to die. You know... Americans are very particular about uh, animals. If there's anybody out there who's in a position to do it, please contact YouTube. Okay, YouTube is particular about animal abuse or neglect in its videos. You know, maybe, you know, uh, someone needs to do something about Mara. Okay, apparently the Kenyan society will not do anything about him, you know, because it is what it is. You know, Kenyans are good people, but, you know, it's like in a country in which there's a lot of poverty and everything, people may not really be all that concerned about animals. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but, man, you know, there are two ways that I know how to send a message to Mara that his treatment of these horses is unacceptable. You know, and that's uh, number one, I'm gonna file a complaint with with uh, with YouTube. And I urge and encourage a lot, uh, any of you that really cares about animal, that's really angry about a, a big, beautiful, healthy creature, you know, dying the way that that horse died. Please complain to YouTube because maybe, maybe Mara, you know, with his, all of his followers, he needs to be in another forum. Okay, they're, they're children probably that watch that. How are they going to feel? You know, and uh, as far as Congrats dad is concerned, by the way, don't judge me. Don't assume that... Uh, don't assume that I'm I'm discussing Congrats Mom Second because I care more about animal life than I do about human life, but I care about all life. You know, uh, I'm not a saint. I'm not. I have I have had a lot of women in my life, and some of them will tell you that I wasn't always a wonderful person. But I don't. I, you know, I don't condone a man beating the woman that bore him children, beating the woman who has dedicated her life to him and his children, beating her so badly that he ends up breaking a bone in her arm. Okay, uh, 
Congress dead should be treated as a pariah. Okay, like all abusive men. I'm going to tell you something really weird that maybe a lot of you don't think about. Half of you, okay, half of you came from the genetic, uh, uh, the genetics of, of your mother, and half of you came from the genetics of your father, okay. In a sense, that means that a large portion of you is, is of a woman. All of you is of a woman. Please, folks. One of the most sacred and beautiful thing that happens in human nature is that a woman's body, a woman's body to me is precious in the eyes of God, is precious to me. Within that woman's body, an egg is fertilized by a seed and a whole human being is formed and gestates within that body. Women are, are very, very dear and important. Okay, even when they no longer can bear children. So, beating on a woman, breaking her arm, not acceptable. And in the crappy, shitty way in which her, her two sons are handling her. One of them is taking it upon himself to lecture her and tell her that she has to learn this and has to learn that while she's recuperating. Another one walks her within distance of where she's going, but then leaves her to walk by herself the rest of the way to, to the Villa Medellin. What if she, what if she had passed out? What if she had fallen? What if, you know, 101 things? These boys pretend that they love their mother so much. It really, really sucks, David Jr., that you did that. It, and and Marwa, it really, really sucks that, that uh, you have the lackadaisical attitude toward your mother. You know, it's like she, she carried you in her womb for nine months under her heart. And I'm going to tell you something else. When I was a little boy, my father slapped my mother. He didn't do it in my presence. Okay. That one thing made me lose all my love for my father. Okay. Uh, uh, half of the time I wanted to physically fight him. You know, but I couldn't. He was my father. And I had no respect for him. None. After he did that. Anyway, uh, please pardon me if I'm not being very amusing or whatever. My heart is breaking, you know, that uh, one of those horses, that, uh, one of those beautiful creatures passed. My heart is breaking, you know, that the other two are in jeopardy. If you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. You know, and uh, I have, uh, you know, it's like sometimes... I, I look and my channel has, you know, it's gotten higher, sometimes it's a little lower, but surely, slowly but surely it's getting better. I look at a lot of these channels and I notice that a lot of them have several different channels, so apparently, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to say anything about it, but in the meantime, if you have bothered to watch this long, may Allah bless you and... Uh, Ramadan Mubarak to all of those who are celebrating Ramadan and uh, you know uh, this is a time of the year when we're supposed to be prayerful and and uh, hopefully grow so I hope I wish each and every one of you a happy Ramadan and please please keep your your friend Babu Eli in prayer you know I, I'm I'm not feeling very happy about uh, hearing that one of those creatures one of those children of God because animals are children of God too died really sad may God bless each and every one of you quietly